Good evening, I'm Giuseppe Basile. I'm the, the analyst and trader. You can find at the website www.fibstalkertrading.com. I also post regularly on Twitter using the Fibstalker nickname. Good evening, today is Sunday, June the 15, 2015, and it's uh, 10 p.m. In this video, I'm going to review for you the 13 pairs I follow. This video is part of my uh, weekly newsletter. If you want to receive a newsletter, you can go to fibstalkertrading.com or fibstalker.com and sign up there. So let's dive right into the euro dollar in the next uh, 8 to 10 minutes. I'm going to give you uh, my view on the 13 markets I follow. So um, let's start from the euro dollar here this is the daily chart which you see on the screen and those who follow me know that i believe this market is a lateral move now uh, weekly uh, weekly so not interested in pushing price lower at this stage the sequence of measure move um, on the downside on the weekly has failed and now there is indecision in this market uh, bulls have failed, bears have failed, so it's a, it's a lateral move. What we saw last week, we saw participation, well in the last few weeks we saw initially participation uh, on the downside, price get, got into the first and second target and uh, the sequence of measure move failed as you can see here and then a sequence of measure move higher as um, has actually started and then the market came to test the old way halfway back last week. So that's 110, uh, 111 here. It's very, very important. We are going to retest this this week. So if we get participation um, uh, on the upside, there is the potential for this market to continue higher into the 115.11. As you know, those who know my uh, method, I never buy blindly. I always look at the sequence of measure move on the counter trend move here on the smaller time frame. And if that fails, it means that there is, there is going to be participation at this 111. So that's my view on the euro dollar. For what concern the um, SP500 here, we are in a lateral move. I don't believe there is nothing to be worried about this. I think that this market has the potential to retest again this 2061 below 2053. We are going to see another. Uh, we are going probably. We are probably going to see the. Um, a 2025 trading here, which is the old dual way back from the lows in uh, November 2014 to recent high. So nothing to be worried about. If that fails uh, again, we still have um, a level that uh, that is the next uh, extension long uh, 18 uh, 1987. So each and every of this level has to be tested and timed uh, using the proprietary FIPS talking timing technique and uh, you can get a very good opportunity for a continuation higher here. The dollar index, uh, this market has been uncertain recently but we were capable of identifying well before the fact this um, level on which the market initially has bounced, that was the 93.55, that was a bounce out of the level of course on the weekly time frame, we know that this market has tested another important uh, uh, resistance level here, which is this uh, 1060, uh, also, also identified well in advance as an extension since 2001 here, and the market responded beautifully twice, as you can see, it was tested in uh, March and then again it was tested in uh, mid, of, mid of April here. So what we're seeing at the moment is um, uh, bull uh, still in control here on the weekly time frame. There was participation here and uh, this 94.55 could be retested anyway, which means that there is potential continuation um, uh, um, continuation higher for the euro till this 94.55 retest, and then a potential um, a potential um, a move lower for continuation lower for the euro. But uh, we don't know that. We let just this level work or not work, and based on that, we are going to um, to decide. So far, what I see from price, price, price structure behavior is that 93.55 is going to hold. Gold is still linked, according to some analysts, to the um, uh, European um, 
central, central bank balance sheet here and uh, the uh, European Central Bank is not buying back assets as they uh, initially planned so this market is actually still responding on the uh, on the weekly and also on the daily still responding to um, to shorts here, but we don't, we have uh, we don't have to in the last four four week three weeks here four weeks, so we are, we don't have to forget anyway that we are on top of a very large level of support here. So uh, I do not anticipate lower price just yet for uh, for uh, this uh, for this commodity on the daily on the daily time frame. We saw a sequence of measure move here and the last sequence. As you can see here from uh, this high to uh, low has failed, which is an indication for me that now in the daily time frame, uh, the, um, the longs are in control. And in fact, we saw participation here uh, at this 11.77, which has the potential to bring price higher into that 11.99. So for this week, I see higher price in uh, higher price in gold. I remember that that level 11.99 corresponds to this level area of potential resistance starting at 11.85. Moving to the US dollar Japanese yen, this market has actually hit uh, uh, an important target here. This was an extension target, uh, first target. Trades well in advance here um, on the daily time frame when we um, when we actually analyze the extension from highs to highs. This was traced now um, seven months back and see the power the, uh, how powerful are these levels. So. At the moment, we um, we actually have uh, if if this market is going to retrace deeply, which means that the dollar is going to become weaker, we could see 118.07 uh, uh, trade here, uh, but we don't know that just yet. So we need to also understand, identify the other levels here, and for sure a level that could come into into play here is the lows to highs that's uh, that's reasonably um, 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 close here and I believe that this week we are going to test this 112.10 level here. The euro versus Japanese yen has been the euro has been very very strong uh, against the Japanese yen and um, but recently it has failed this uh, this measure this measure move here which was an extension measure move which means that uh, this market is now in uh, a corrective um, a corrective uh, move here and um, uh, this this market is also quite extended here so one of the levels i'm going to consider is going to be the highs to highs here but there is also the potential for uh, a uh, test of the ambush trade here uh, from uh, lows to highs. So uh, 134.93 or 133.50 here can uh, come into place. And of course, the first level that we are going to test is going to be the 134.93. Um, next, uh, Australian dollar versus the US dollar here. This market um, has found participation at, uh, at a lower area here, which um, uh, which uh, must be traded properly here. That's um, that's uh, from uh, from a recent low here, and um, and as we can see, there was participation around this level um, in uh, uh, at the beginning of May, and uh, this market has just continued lower so far it's trading in extension short we again have to remember that on the uh, on the larger time frame when we look at the weekly we know that we are within an area of potential participation higher and that's the reason why you are seeing you saw last week uh, you saw last week this market actually uh, i have here some of the analysis i did for my students and let me remove uh, let me remove this. But uh, I want to show you in this weekly time frame that um, uh, we are into an area potential participation long here, and that's the reason why you're seeing this double bottom forming here. It doesn't mean that it's going to be a double a double bottom here, but that's something that you have to keep in mind. Now, when you get to the daily, we know that there is this 70, uh, 7, 98, 78 level here it's been tested once and it could be retested this week as well if we break above uh, 78 
45 you have uh, more levels above here and the market could even go and retest the 80 ADH. We need to the new JN dollar versus US dollar this market has been of course under the um, uh, effects of uh, New Zealand Central Bank uh, keep keeping um, you know their uh, their cut of course uh, and another half point uh, cut could, could come but we were, we were if we were just if you were just following the sequence of measure move here you would have identified this 7202 uh, well in advance was tested twice uh, again last week we then have a, uh, we had a gap on uh, on Friday on uh, Thursday here and the market is now continuing lower on Thursday we hit the first target there is a second target below and uh, that's 0.6923 and uh, and the market actually 6941 i believe the market is going to touch is going to touch that this week and we will see that we'll have a continuation on the sequence of measure move or the market will reverse uh, moving to the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar, this market has been uh, bouncing on a level that we identified with um, days and weeks in advance here. There was, it was traced from a, a previous high was an extension and as you can see it worked nicely, tested three times and then the market started moving higher. The um, the opposite uh, particip participants were not able to um, uh, to contain this price, so this price is moving higher at the moment. So apparently, the uh, U.S. dollar uh, uh, has um, restored its strength on the, um, uh, when compared to the Canadian dollar here. So we could see this um, this pair continue uh, moving higher, as you can see here. The test of longs it was successful on Wednesday and uh, there was a first target the previous size here and that's where we are going to see this market moving to if nothing changes here. Uh, the Euro versus Canadian dollar we have um, we have uh, uh, this move higher that has not been um, uh, technical but at the same time as we know, after the uh, break of the sequence of measure move lower, this market has the potential to keep moving higher into 142.97, and that's where we have been seeing this market here when we uh, when we trace from lows to highs. Uh, we didn't see uh, we didn't see participation uh, at this uh, at this level, but um, but actually. We can see that uh, the market is actually moving in extensions here. So the um, the actual level that uh, that we have to use it's another Bolanco. You will learn about this when you um, when you join uh, when you join my courses actually. And uh, there are different traces you can uh, you can actually make. But normally the first trace is the one that. Uh, uh, the, the first test is the, is the, most, the most important one here and as we see uh, the sequence of measure move higher has failed and that's the reason why as I mentioned also last week we are seeing this correction lower so um, in the coming uh, week or two we could see this price correcting again into the uh, 135.89 level and that's where I, uh, you know, that's where we could see this price bouncing and continuing higher as well. Uh, US dollar versus Swiss franc here, uh, and this will be will be our uh, our last uh, last market here. As you know, uh, in this market, when we look at the daily, uh, we saw um, the uh, you know we saw the failure of the. Uh, of the uh, longs initially here so now apparently um, these longs have, uh, are respecting at the moment the 92.88 and there is the potential for this market to uh, um, you know to keep moving lateral here because um, as you can see the uh, the longs are not capable anyway of, of pushing this price higher though this price is actually hovering around that uh, 92 93 level there so there is still the possibility for this market to continue lower but uh, i think this market needs to move laterally for a for a while before it decides where it's going to go higher or lower 
and that's what uh, what I see in this market. I wanted to um, I wanted to um, uh, make an announcement here in relation to uh, a webinar, free webinar I'm going to have on uh, uh, on uh, June the 24th on fsweet.com. Um, as you know, I'm a uh, premium contributor. If you want to look at the past webinars, you can go on fsweet.com and search for Giuseppe Basile, and then you can go on uh, <clears throat> on my page here, and there are a number of um, webinars that I want to bring to your attention. Uh, and uh, one of them is certainly how to challenge yourself for greater returns in modern markets, uh, where you will learn the importance of money management, the risk management, I'll have you playing a money manager game. It's very, it's a lot of fun and it's uh, it's very informative. So you should really um, take some time to watch that. And uh, I have a series on how to get into and stay in the elite. Uh, it's four parts. And I started a new series, it's going very well, the seven pillars of the trading or trading in modern markets that um, I want to review. But on June the 24th, I'm going to talk about the real estate markets. And here I have a provoking title, <laughs> Why Canadians and Australians, and I include New Zealanders, should actually exit the real market, the real estate market now, and uh, and provokingly learn forex, but generally learn investing and especially trading, uh, because the stock market by in the next in the coming years uh, have for us very bad surprises. So um, if you have some time, come and watch this webinar. I'm gonna pro I'm gonna provide facts, very well documented about the reason why uh, the Canadian Australian housing markets are in a bubble and they could start deflating at any time. Um, I also want to remind you that uh, I will start uh, um, enrolling new students for, the, for my September um, session of the FIPS Talker Methods Coaching Program. And uh, at, the moment, at the moment in June, June, the best offer is going to be on FS Street and you can reach that by clicking below the uh, the link there and uh, have a look at the bonuses as well and all the value and um, the um, the results of my research I'm gonna I'm gonna give to you uh, including the way of analyzing price structure using the uh, models uh, that model effects of average on price uh, the FIPS talking timing technique which is the procedural technique to time entries and a lot more in this uh, seven months program. I have some um, uh, discounts here that you can only and bonuses you can only find on fsrate.com. This is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I wish you a great trading and trading week and uh, I uh, look forward to see you next week. And every, every, uh, any questions, please write, uh, write to me at fipstalker at gmail.com. Have a good evening. Bye bye now.